we were looking at the classification of anti-epileptic drugs, we have seen the chemical classification and then we saw the clinical classification. Now, by mechanism of action also, we can look at the classification of anti-epileptic drugs. So, basically the mechanism of action, overall to tell you, the neurons should be inhibited. For this, there are some ways of doing. Look, in, look at this diagram. So, as you can see here, there are three things that can be done. Okay? Three things. This much is clear? Three things can be done. If you draw this diagram, definitely they'll be very happy. You'll be explaining the mechanism of action and also the classification. Right? So, here the sodium channels uh, can be inactivated. So, prolong the inactivation of sodium channel so that the neurons will not get into excitatory. It, it will not get into excitatory phase. You can also have the inhibition of calcium current. Inhibition of calcium current. Again, this is a red thing. You are going to prolong the inactivation of sodium channel. You are going to inhibit the calcium current. Okay. And GABA is actually going to be facilitated. But GABA itself is an inhibitory neuron. So, again, this will be a red for the neuron. So, basically, everything is trying to stop the firing, correct, of the signals. So, basically, here there is a prolongation of the sodium channel, the inactivation. The inactivation of the so uh, channel is prolonged. Here, the calcium current is stopped and here the GABA is facilitated. So, GABA can bind. When GABA binds, there will be inhibition, correct. So, all this is going to happen. So, sodium prolongation of the sodium channel, inhibition of the calcium current, facilitation of the GABA mediation, uh, facilitation of the GABA mediated calcium channel, sorry, chlorine channel will open. So, this is a GABA will bind and the chlorine channel will open. What are the drugs? What and all should you remember? Let us look at our favorite carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is coming here. It is going to prolong the sodium channel inactivation. Carbamazepine, you should know. So, first of all, you focus on this one. Carbamazepine is important where exactly carbamazepine comes in sodium channel inactivation. What about um, our next favorite, sodium valproate? Sodium valproate, interestingly, is doing all the three. Isn't it great? So, sodium valproate is doing all the three. Sodium valproate is a carboxylic acid derivative and sodium valproate actually is uh, going to be the first line of drug in what? It is the first line of drug in uh, absence seizures and myoclonic seizures, right? Where is our third favorite? In uh, status epilepticus. Status epilepticus, you will give benzodiazepines and Phenytoin, phosphenytoin. So, you should know this. Benzodiazepine is here. Benzodiazepine is here and phenytoin is here. So, benzodiazepine and phenytoin. Phenytoin is doing only one thing, uh, inactivation of the sodium channel. Please remember this. Phenytoin is just doing, phenytoin is just inactivating the sodium channel for long. Okay. Benzodiazepine is uh, facilitating GABA mediated calcium channel opening. Okay. So, in status epilepticus, you are giving a combination of these two that is, prolongation of the sodium channel and facilitation of the GABA mediated calcium channel, sorry, chlorine channel opening. So, remember, phenytoin plus benzodiazepines are given in status epilepticus. They are going to prolong the sodium channel inactivation and the facilitation of GABA mediated chlorine channel opening. Okay. Now, what else we should know? Let us see. Barbitrates always go hand in hand with benzodiazepine. So, they are also going to do uh, GABA uh, facilitation. Then, what about uh, ethosuximide? Ethosuximide seems to be going with the calcium current because if they ask you classification based on mechanism of action, you will have to remember this. Ethosuximide is going to be of the inhibition of the T-type calcium current, you should know this, calcium current is stopped. Then you have the newer drugs, newer drugs, remember, this Vigabatrin, Gabapentin, T, Gabalin, all of them have to obviously be under GABA mediated, right? No doubt about that, correct? 
So is this easy? You can write these three. No, something else is missing here. One of them is missing. Which one? Gabapentin, pregabalin. Pregabalin is not given here. Guys, let us <coughs> close this video. Please look at this. There are three ways of uh, preventing uh, epilepsy. One is by prolongation of sodium channel, inactivation, uh, pro prolonging the inactivation of the sodium channel, facilitation of the GABA mediated chlorine channel opening, and the inhibition of the T type calcium current. All these. So, all the three mechanisms are basically going to make the neurons fire less. So, as a revision, let me see if you can answer. Sodium channels, GABA and then calcium current uh, inhibition. So, tell me, uh, where does carbamazepine comes? Carbamazepine comes here. Then you have sodium valproate which will work on all the three. Then you have uh, benzodiazepine will, let me just put it in order. Carbamazepine, sodium valproate. Valproate, valproate, valproate. This one will be in all the three. Valproate, valproate, and valproate will do all the three. Then you have uh, benzodiazepines and uh, benzodiazepines, benzodiazepines, and barbiturates. Barbiturates come here. Then you have phenytoin coming here. Phenytoin. Why am I writing like this? Because Benzodiazepines and phenytoin are go hand in hand for status epilepticus. Barbiturates can re, uh, can work similar to benzodiazepines. Then you have ethosuximide that will come under calcium. Ethosuximide will come here. Okay, one second. So ethosuximide is a succinamide. Okay. Then talking about the other drugs like uh, GABA, pentin. Then you have Tia, Tia Gabin, Tia Gabin, correct? Then you have Viga Bat, Viga Batrin, right? It is Tia Gabin, Viga Batrin, okay? <clears throat> anything else you want me to revise or everything is fine for you? So we are closing this video, guys. Hope you have understood everything.